everybody, it's the Common Sense Investor coming at you with another video. And in this video, we're going to be discussing how Max Payne is a myth and how you cannot trust it, people. Uh, there's a comment in our Discord this morning. They were talking about the Max Payne for Tesla, and I said, you can't trust Max Payne. How do I know? I've lost $1,000 chasing Max Payne and the Max Payne theory over the course of the last month. So I know what I'm talking about when it comes to talking about Max Payne, okay? So let's take a look at AMC. Now, over here on Weeble, we can see the options chain for AMC, and AMC is trading at 9.08 today, opening for today, all right? It's already moving in the pre-market. But I think they are about to pull off the AMC hustle. Now, if you don't know exactly what the AMC hustle is that I talk about, there's a link in the, right there in the car, cards, one of these corners, on the AMC hustle. They're getting ready to do it. They're going to release the information probably with the earnings reports that the bondholders and the debt holders have made deals with AMC for AMC shares. That's the hustle. Go watch my video on it. Now, I think they're about to pull it off, and I think they're going to drop the news, and it's going to be around earnings time that we start finding out which ones are doing this. And when they do it, they're going to run the price of the stock up so they can sell their new AMC shares. Okay. Now, I believe they're going to do that around November, so I'm going to buy me a November 17 call. All right. Now that I know what my expiration is going to be, let's figure out which one I want to buy. And we're going to take a look at the max pain for AMC. Over here on MaximumPain.com, you can put in the ticker symbol and the expiration date that you're looking for. And you can find out what the max pain will be for that expiration. In this particular case, the November 17, 2023 AMC call, max pain is $9. You see that right there? All right. And if we scroll on down and we take a look at the chart, we see max pain is at $9. Now, for those that understand it, bear with me and let me explain to the ones that don't know exactly how to read this chart. It's believed the max pain theory says that what happens is you can look at the Max Payne chart, and all of these calls have been written for AMC, and all of these puts have been written for AMC, and people have bought them. Now, if AMC closes at 11, and say 11.50, then all of these calls will be worthless, and the money maker will get to keep their premiums that they wrote for this call. All right, and over here, they lose all the puts. Now, you have to keep in mind here, Max Payne is $9 on 11 2023 right now, and we want to buy the $9 call, okay? You can see that the $9 call for November 17th is going to cost about $1.24 a contract. So now we're going to go over to option strats. Option strats is where I put in my plays before I buy them and I take a look at the profit and loss and everything to make sure that I really want to get into it. So on option strats, you would simply go over to build, okay, a long call position. You see ticker symbol AMC is trading at 909. You want the November 17th call. And you want the $9 call for November, all right? And then you will put in the price you paid for it. You paid $124. And now we can see all the information about it, all right? It, the Delta's 58. We like that. The Gamma's 13. We, yeah, we like it to be about 10. And uh, everything else looks fine. But now we can see the profit and loss, all right? And how every day throughout the course of the life of this option, how much it'll deteriorate due to Thea. Now let's say I'm right. Let's say I hold this option, this $9 call for November 17th, 
tail expiration, and we know that the max pain for November 17th is $9. And I was right. It moved up, and it moved up to $12.87, and they were able to push it all the way back down to $10.20. It ends the day, November 17th, at $10.20. Now, your call you purchased was a $9 call. Is it in the money a dollar twenty? That's the question I have for you, and that's going to show you how Max Payne is bullshit. Okay, so take a moment and think about it. You bought the nine dollar call, you paid a dollar twenty four for it, and at the end of November seventeenth, twenty twenty three, the stock's price ended at ten twenty. A dollar twenty above Max Payne and a dollar twenty above your options contract. Are you in the money? Answer No. Why? Because first off, you paid a hundred and twenty four dollars for it. All right. So it has to get above your strike price plus your premium before you break even. It doesn't matter that Max Payne is nine dollars and we close at ten twenty. All right, it doesn't matter that Max Payne. Oh, look, we beat Max Payne. No, but I lost one hundred twenty nine dollars on the play. Why? The stock's price did not run up high enough to overcome what I like to call, simply put, the down payment that I put on the options premium. Does that make sense? Let me say it like this. The, the strike price, which is $9, plus the premium you pay, which in this particular case, it was $1.24. So it's $9 plus $1.24. The actual break even for you and, or me in this option would be $10.24. So... Max Payne is completely bullshit. It, it, it makes no difference what Max Payne is. The point of whether you're profitable or not is determined with your strike price plus your premium that you pay equals your break-even point. One way to look at it is in the graph right here. You can see it. That's where the stock is trading at right now when I purchased this option this morning. I needed to get to the blue line right here, all right, for me to be even, $10.24. Then my option starts making money. It makes no difference what Max Payne is, people. So when you try to gauge your strategy, believing that they're going to push the price down to whatever the Max Payne is, they may try to do that, people, but it doesn't matter. Because what matters in options trading is your break-even point for your option. Fuck everybody else's option. You understand that? So, with that, right now, I know that if I hold this till expiration and it closes at 1020, I'll be down $4 on my investment. So, no. I would not exercise this $9 call even though it ran up and closed at 1020. So with that, I hope this helps y'all understand. Quit paying attention when people tell y'all, oh, Max Payne is nine. Oh, Max Payne for Tesla is going to be this or Apple's going to be that. It makes no difference what Max Payne is. It's going to count how much your strike price is plus your premium equals your break even point that's the only number that you need to concern yourself with and of course what you want to sell for a profit so with that love y'all i hope this little educational video helped if it did like subscribe comment down below i've got some other videos on my mind i want to do for y'all like iron condors and i'm going to show y'all like if you go up here in option stretch to my account saved accounts there's our AMC play in the active section. Well, if I go to the expired or closed, you can see all of my other strategies that I've been working on, mostly iron condors and iron flies. 
I got a couple of iron butterflies down here. But your this uh, reverse QQQ MP that meant Max Payne was down 315. This uh, Max Payne test that I did was down 154 people. You can't trust Max Payne. Trust your formula of strike price plus the price you pay equals your break even point. With that, love y'all. Be blessed, and I'll see you in the next video.